and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Braum timelines. Going to be a spicy one for our next ranked donation deck. This is a deck, you know, built around our two champions with concurrent timelines. So concurrent timelines, the first time we play a follower each round, we get to transform it into something cooler. And that works so well with Trundle, with Trundle creating these ice pillars so that whenever we play Ice Pillar, we actually get to make it something much more valuable than a 0-6 Vulnerable, but you still get the playability where you refill your mana, so you can get some of the best 8-drop followers in the game and refill your 8 mana and then play something else. Really awesome combo. So we're going to be trying that out. We got lots of units in here. Um, we have some different Behold cards, but lots of cards that like whenever you summon or play them, you get a bonus. You know, like Marksman, you play it, you deal one to an enemy. But with timelines, you know, you get to do that, and then you get to go find a better 3-drop than just a 3-1. So we're playing a lot of undersized cards that can then turn into other stuff. You know, Financier. Instead of just being a generic 2-2, we can find a better 2-drop for it. Um, like, Aloof Travelers. You know, let's get a, a lot better body than a 2-3. There's lots of 4-drops that are better bodies than 2-3s, and so on. But you still get all of your play abilities, right? So like this Outriders, we hit Allegiance. We'll still grant the top ally in our deck plus three, plus three, and overwhelm, but then we'll go find something else. I think it should be like a really cool um, just combination. So like this one, we can grant an ally overwhelm and, overwhelm and regen, and then, you know, um, turn it into something else. The They Who Endure is something I'm super excited about. So we have all those small units. They're going to be trading and everything in combat. And then, you know, maybe we have like, you know, six things die. And now this They Who Endure, instead of just being a 7-7, seven, seven, you get to replace it with some other awesome 7 drop and then grant that 7 drop plus 6 plus 6, you know, because you had the 6 things die. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. We have one at that stairs, one buried in ice. So we do have that spicy combo in here as well because, you know, let's do that. And that's what our deck's going to be all about. Not too much interaction, not really very much removal. You know, we do have three sisters, we have the troll chant, we have buried in ice, but really overall not very much interaction. So we'll kind of see. Financier also is going to be able to make very expensive uh, spells for us to help out the beholds, like with the troll scavenger and the auger, how you want to behold an 8 plus cost card. We don't start with very many 8 plus cost cards, but the trundles create one, and then again, the financiers can create one as well. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try it out. Trundle Braum Timelines. But I just have uh, Trundle Braum up here and on the thumbnail, but Trundle Braum Timelines, we can call it. Yeah, I love how the buffs transfer through the timelines. That's really cool. All right, so Darkness Control, like I said, we don't really have removal. So we do not want them to play Vagar specifically. They can have all the other stuff in their deck, but just no Vagars. All right, we're going to keep timelines. Um, Troll Chant is just so good, but I, I guess we mulligan it because we need to find bodies. We want to keep Trundle for sure to go along with timelines. So those two are just great together. Hmm. Alright, so that's only a when I'm summoned. Okay, okay. Awesome. That's not a pokey stick to kill my marksman. Which we could probably just play the marksman. Deal one to any of their stuff is probably not that important. Okay, you don't get any summon abilities. So Jaw Hunter is just a 4-1 challenger. This thing is just a generic 2-3. And then Legion Marauders is the 3-2. Let's take Legion Marauders. It's the 3-2 that has that attack ability. That it can grow. It's been a weird hand for us drawing double trundle, double three sisters. Good draw right there. Alright, let's turn this into a 4 3. Alright, so the, the um, Troll Scavenger, the, the new thing will get the plus 3 plus 0. No, they had Vagar, the only card. I said at the beginning, we just can't handle Vagar. Glorious Evolution? 
Okay, and then this turns it into something. We can make it a 2-3 Overwhelm or a Catalyzer. I don't think the Catalyzer really helps us too much. I guess we'll just make a 2-3 Overwhelm. I'm your man. All right, now we behold the A-plus cost card. But now we already used our timelines. Timelines is only once per round, but I think it's probably still just good just to play it. Great. Man, this, this is really unfortunate of every round, that grown up. And the Catalyzer pick is the game laughing at us. <laughs> like, I can entomb it and then entomb it, but it's just... Like, what if I entomb it and they just play a new Vagar and then they have two of them out? I guess we could try Trundle Champion Spell, which does three to everything. And then also plus Marksman, which does one. That could be four total. Below. That's over two rounds. Is it the boosters? Who knows? You know, we're playing a janky deck here that has some power, that can do some cool stuff, but specifically against... Um... I guess that enables the deal four, but it's specifically against a card like Vagar, where they can just sit back and accrue so much value with these darkness damages going up. There's not much to do about that. So you win some, you lose some. Play the darkness first and then play Senna. So the Glorious Evolution does kind of mess up some stuff. Right, like... But, um... I think we have to play it, to be honest. Because I think, like, the Augment is just really important. But it messes up some stuff. Like, it turns these into 7s instead of 8s. We kind of need some Augment. Yeah, you said they have a boring archetype. Yeah, I mean, it's... It does what it does, you know? It's, like, that's, that's really strong. No, we need we need Glorious Evolution. This still refills 8 mana, even though it only costs 7. So we can... Uh, I guess we can't play... Not really gonna... You are safe with Brawl. What? Oh, that had a yeah. That okay. They got that from Conchologist. But still, thank you. All right. So Ice Pillar gets a seven drop instead of an eight drop now. But Savage Reckoner is a pretty good seven drop. Yeah, because we don't get the summon from the Hatchling. It's like not reasonable at all. So this takes out a couple of their blockers. You know, us playing stuff, we get to continue continually grow our units because the augment. The augment is what we really needed. We really need that augment. So the Glorious Evolution could steal this for us, but I feel like our opponent hasn't taken as much advantage of the darkness as his as they could have. Alright. So let's see. My shield is my sword. Show me 
your best. Come here. Oh, that block's there. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, perfect. We got him. So that's what I, I wanted them to have their life seal block at the end. So right now that's 7, 11. Right? Don't we have them? That's 16 overwhelm. Yeah. And they did. Alright, we got him. We won this game that really didn't look like we were going to win whatsoever. Glorious evolution, stealing it with the augment. Augment on some overwhelms. Timelines, of course, doing great. Timelines making the Stomper, making the Savage Reckoner. Lannis played a few other things. There we go. GG's. So Gangplank Sejuani, but with a twisted fate. Probably over a Gangplank, probably still keep three Sejuani. Both of these four drops are really good. But can we keep two fours? And just nothing else beforehand? Probably not. Which four drop is better? Like, aloof make them discard Sejuani is one of our best interaction points. So I'll keep that. The other thing that I really like about keeping the Piltover and Zong cards, though, is because we have the Avaros and Outriders in here, and so if we keep Piltover and Zon cards, then we can't hit Piltover and Zon off of, you know, like on top. Double Omen Hawk. Oh, that thing's too big. Timelines! Uh, obviously, we're blocking. We're not taking damage. Uh, I guess this one. That timeline's gonna be juicy. If I kill you, I don't fortune. Oh, it doesn't get the summon ability, so it's just going to be a 3 3 challenger, but that's still better than these other two. We made it. So, yeah, Aloof Traveler should just be a 3 3 challenger. I think that makes sense for Aloof Travelers. Yeah, you don't want to crush me. Suffer no escape! Warning shot. Warning shot to the heart. Such a big trundle. All right, so we made them discard a, a dreadway. That's really good. Keep up, keep up. If you've leveled a champion, or that's deep, or when you summon an ally, give me plus two, plus zero this round. Those are all pretty good. We're probably not getting going deep. We have to level a champion though. That's not. I guess that's not that difficult to level up Brom. Okay, let's go with that. A thing. L, that's not ours. Ah, uh, not set twenty. Still a harpoon. It's good to get out of here. Through the coral. Where are you, spirit? No, I was going to have that 3-1 challenger get rid of the spray fin, but I think these aloof travelers are a little bit better than normal. Okay, so 6 mana. This will go here. Feel the rush? You can feel the rush. 
And then... Oh, it's not going to get the elusive, so it's just a 2-3. Just a 1-3. Or a 3-1 quick attack. 3-1 quick attack's the best, but against them, with their ways to do 1 damage, I kind of just want the 2-3, I guess. It's a problem. But still, alright, you know, Financier is a 2-3 instead of a 2-2. Two -two. Like a fish in water. <laughs> is it the two stack? Who knows? All right, cool. All right. That's all about me. Got rid of those elusives that were doing free damage. And yeah, we got to back up Rom anyway. This so next round, obviously, I'm definitely playing Trundle. Then we'll play Scavenger also. Like, we can play those two together. We've had four things die so far. Five, six things die so far. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't, I don't say... I'm gonna use three sisters. They who endure are gonna be pretty big. Ooh... These are all really good hits. Huh. Want Green Glade Lookout? Want to make Ignitions? I guess it's going to be difficult for us to cast two spells in a round for the Draglings, but we could. You know, like, we got three sisters. Wow, which one do we choose? Okay, I think the Ballistic Bot is not the choice. I think it's either Green Glade Lookout or Eye of the Dragon. Let's go Eye of the Dragon. The trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Because this is a matchup where our Nexus health is definitely important, and we're not, we're not getting that for a minute, but it could be really useful later. Alright, so we're going to turn you into an Aatrop. Yep, that's just the best play. Oh, I guess Terror of the Tides. That could have been better. Yeah, these this doesn't do... Yeah, that doesn't do anything, so just Terror of the Tides. I think I should have taken Ballistic. The ballistic Bond. United, nothing can stop us. There's probably something that can stop y'all. Fresh tracks. Gotcha. I mean, so that thing only makes one more Powder Monkey. We fight for one Freljord. Okay. What do we want to do this? Let's have... You go... Now, here. Now, there. Come on, come on! Get ready for a beatdown! Yeah, maybe... I kind of think that maybe I shouldn't have taken that. I should have taken... The strike makes something cost one less. I don't know, it would have been a 5-2. I guess we would have had you know, six mana they who endure. Maybe that's not great. Alright, so let's put them down to seven. Their champs are leveled up. We're actually okay against Sejuani. Gangplank's a little bit more rough. Oh, they stole that from me. They stole my Tavern Keeper. There's plenty of killing left. We have three Tavern Keepers in the deck. Water is mine and mine alone. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. So we gotta entomb that thing. Which means I'm one mana off from playing They Who Endure. Cold isn't the only danger. 
We go ahead and let the 4-2 die so that we make a draggling. Safety will cost you. And I think, yeah, we gotta open attack before Sejuani. That's just how it is. I want to play the They Who Endure. That's what my body tells me to do is play the They Who Endure, but the smart play is just attack. Alright, we're 2-0. Jace Heimer. Heimer Jace. Okay, we'll keep Financier and Aloof. Hopefully draw concurrent timelines. Timelines. Yeah. Feel the rush seems good again. I'm not very good at finding concurrent timelines. Got that one little mana that's like wants to be a concurrent timeline so bad. I pass there because, like, if they don't attack, then I don't have to do anything. Let's do Outriders. I guess Aloof. Now we'll do Outriders. We go where the War Mother okay. So we know it's not concurrent timelines on top. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. <laughs> Will do, Axel. Hmm. I guess that trundle's pretty big. Testing. Could play Hearthguard though and you know keep buffing up everything in the deck. No. King of Trolls coming through. If I play Hearthguard, they have a mystic shot, they still get to attack in basically for free with that 4-4. Four -four. Solvable, Heimer. Ha! This is fun, yes? I'll knock him dead. Scarper for a smack you. So they do have Thermo, they could kill oh. Braum, but it would take Thermo. I like whenever we have concurrent timelines more. <laughs> like the other two games when we had timelines. It is easy, see? Can we have timelines more again. I already got one of those. Should have made them discard. <laughs> this is the cutting edge of progress. Such a good card. It's kind of how we won the first time. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Hey, Rosa. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. We're running into heat issues. What you got? Hmm. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. That's kind of surprising. They play... He said it's good. I Princess, how have the new cards impacted the meta? Jace is similar to Karma. Yeah, but much better. Honestly, one mana cheaper, getting a keyword, being more health. Um, but then also just these other, um, these six plus cost, but like these six cost spells are, have been really, really good. This, uh, the three drop landmark has been awesome. Like we saw that even in this game and, you know, adding that extra, you know, basically being zero mana when all said and done. And, and then both of the new six mana cards that get two three threes or deal three twice. 
those have all really put a premium on one you have to have three threes to at least three threes to fight their three threes like a body like a two three like aloof travelers is a lot worse now because of the new cards with everything being three threes everywhere but then two having like four health is really important you know with shock blast doing three damage having car like a card like karma that doesn't have three health it has uh, less health is not as valuable Go away. Come on. Hold on. I don't know. Yeah, I could go Fury of the North to kill it, but then they just replace it with something else, and I just don't even know if that's really even that necessary. I guess if I would have done that, though, then this would have gave me the opportunity to challenge the Jace, which I would rather do than challenge that thing. Many tribes under one banner. Deck's definitely a lot better when we have concurrent timelines. Smashing. I seal this by sword. Good luck. Today we fight as one! One smack will do! Replicating the power, Spike. It's kind of too many cards. Too many cards. Boy, help. Need clearance, pal. Hey, show me that again. Did we get him? We have some people. We have some opponents that have been super greedy. There's just twelve overwhelm right there. They're at eleven. There we go, we got him. Man, we are stealing games today. <laughs> Let's do these three games that we had no business winning, but we stole. We got Zed Poppy. Poppy Zed. Alright, so Poppy Zed's super aggressive. Not easy to deal with. I... All right, we're going to send you back. I really don't want to mulligan the three sisters, but I also really think that we should. But I don't want to. Hmm, don't need that field of rush. Trundle can be decent. I guess the field of rush does improve my troll scavenger. Is dragons good for climbing? Probably. That's Dragons are pretty big. Base. What we got? Take a Boom Crew Rookie that's a 4-3? Or a Tiara Traveler that's a 5-2? That's a tough choice. These are both pretty decent. Boom Crew puts more pressure on them. We'll do Boom Crew, but... I could see getting a Tiara Traveler that can, like, you know, attack support. Put this here. Time to go. That's a lot of damage. Hmm. Okay. So either Marksman, Kill Green Glade Duo, or Troll, you know, Block Zed, Troll Chant, Kill Zed. I think we gotta do that. I think we gotta kill Zed. We can still kill the Green Glade Duo next round anyway. Attack first and then see what happens. Okay. Without a sound. Hear that. 
Protégé, perfect, because Protégé got the four health. That's good against Zed. Good chance Aloof gets rid of like a rally for them, right? I'm worried about playing Trundle, having Trundle block Zed if they just go with a sharp sight. Aloof for Trundle, Aloof for Trundle, Aloof, Aloof. Four health. Man, this is tough. All right, so we'll take Swiftwing Flyer Chevaly. So this can create some more challengers. This can give my other challengers plus one, plus one. I guess we'd rather create more challengers. I got rid of a repost. Wow, so I can't even just block one. We have to block both. Man, Greenplay duo. Kinda of messed up. Alright, so we definitely need to play multiple bodies, so it looks like we're gonna be playing Outriders plus Scavenger. I guess we could maybe go Scavenger, Scavenger. Alright, let's go. Let's go Outriders. First. We go where the war mother peace! And then they have the rally. All right. GG's. Very good hand. Doesn't look like I was like I was ever able to kill that Greek Blade duo. Okay, so basically the same deck. It's just a worse version of the deck because Zed's better than Lulu, but you know. They could still definitely kill us for sure. That doesn't mean that we're going to win. It's probably still a pretty tough matchup because they can attack really well. But the other one was Lulu Zed. This is Pompey Lulu. So the difference is changing out Zed for Poppy. But everything else is going to be the same. It's kind of impossible just to play blockers and <laughs> win. Like, blockers that don't block elusive and win, so. Alright, well, we have to take the pass. Um, actually, no, we don't have to. Because they're, they're going to play Bright Steel Protector, because we always know our opponents have the best hands they can. Oh, no! They didn't. That's a surprise. Hey, yo, what's wrong? Okay. So blocking here, because this problem's a 1-7, so we can turn that into being 1 health. Okay, so let's just go ahead and play the other take heart, make this Braum even larger, and kind of set up like Ice Quake next round. Exactly eight mana. Um, 
No, I probably shouldn't get greedy. All right, there we go. Ice Quake. Basically, Financier is incredible. <laughs> you know, Financier really helped us win that first and last game. The first game got us the Glorious Evolution. That game got us the Ice Quake. And two games, you know, matchups that are kind of tough. Games that looked kind of rough. But like the perfect card for the situation. So thank you so much, Pharos Financier. Thank you for being incredible. So how about that? We got a 4-1. It didn't feel... You know, it felt like we were spending a lot of time losing. But then we just kind of ended up winning. You know, like the people underrate the Freljord. Um, yeah, we actually got a 4-1 with this. That's pretty sweet. Uh, really got some... Um, you know, won some games that my opponents were probably too confident in them winning. Concurrent Timelines was awesome, though, whenever we had it. You know, like, there's a couple of games we didn't have it, some games that we did have it. When we did have it, it was awesome. It was really cool with a lot of these cards. Um, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. So, I could see, as far as, like, you know, anything to change about the deck, I could see just honestly having a couple more spells still. Um, you know, like, there's just not very many spells in here. I think that, that that's probably be like one thing that could change. I'd have to say the card I was probably the least happy with was maybe the Averroes and Outriders. Yeah, you know, maybe we could get like some PNC sp spells like Mystic Shot or something in if we don't play this. Because um, we could just play, you know, a third aloof. Like, you already have three aloof, three Braum. It's just, you know, like that's a lot of fours. You already have a lot of fives. The curve's kind of high with that. Like, the Outriders is like the, the third best four drop. And I don't know if that's ever kind of ever necessary in a deck. I don't know if I ever really recommend playing that many fours and fives. So that could be the card to trim. That could get you some, you know, maybe like a third aloof and then a couple of more spells of like whatever spells that you want. If you want more troll chance, uh, three sisters, or if you want any of the Piltover and Zahn removal spells, um, you know, which there are plenty, plenty to choose from. So that, that could be something you could do to, to change the deck or, you know, if you want to adapt it a little bit to have some more interaction, um, go ahead and try that out. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for uh, Trundle Braum Timelines. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know. Yeah, if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. You know, do you steal some games like we did? you know, or anything, or if you got any suggestions, uh, you know, any good interaction spells that you recommend over the Outriders, or anything like that, let us know. But, all right, that's going to be it for this video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next one.